Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Remember man the buzz over here and that place it takes us to? Yeah, the shrine. That's the shrine we're looking to go to next. So yeah, this is why I wanted to go here later. But I ended up going there earlier on, but oh whatever. <laughs> we're back here now. Let me say the spell this time. If the wind blows, huh? That's spell for Tornadus. Well, it would have been if you'd gotten it right. Oh, oops, that was the wrong one. Uh, what was it now? With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here! It worked! Okay, where is it? Where is it? Oh, come on! I find it hard to believe it was behind you this whole time. Who woke me from such a great nap? Uh, I'm so sorry. Tornadoes told us you'd help us with your thunder power. What? Tornadoes just offered my help without even asking me? Well, if you're having trouble, I can help you out, sure. But I need to wake up a little first. How about a lively game of chase? If you beat me, I'll go wherever you need to go. Nah, you're being high maintenance. Hmm, I'm surprised you say no. Actually, no, I gotta do this. <laughs> It looks like you must have my help. If that's the case, let's go to a bigger place. Okay. Where to? Looks like the Coliseum. Under us. Bring it on! It's so appropriate that these Pokemon are... that they want chase, because in the main series games... Wow, that was quick. <laughs> in the main series games, um, you know, they're a roaming Pokemon out in the wild. Okay, I'll help you as promised. And there we go. You sort of embarrassed yourself, though. Thank you, Thunderous. But it was just Tornadoes and me. You, you sometimes get carried away. And if we get to fighting, there's nobody to stop us. That's bad news. Go to the shrine in the arcane area and awaken the power of the land. The arcane area is a new place that we are going to see soon. Go get Landorus. Here's the spell for calling him. When the ground sounds a rumbling roar, Landorus is here. Well then, I'll be in the Scientorium, or whatever it was. The arcane area is just past Verdant Court in the Arbor area. The bridge is out, but let's go have a look. And now, the bridge should finally be fixed. <laughs> well, as long as we're back in the Colosseum, we should probably go see that uh, Muna, or Muna, excuse me, I, I pronounced it a... Um, um, oh, sorry! <laughs> I pronounced it wrong for a while, it's... yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you know what Pokemon I'm talking about. It's up here. We have the aroma candles for it. We've had them for a while. What a bright and cheery face. I can tell you've been sleeping well. I haven't been having so much trouble sleeping lately. But I have a plan. I just need some aroma candles. The scent is so soothing, and it really helps me get to sleep. Would you happen to have any? Please give me ten or so. Okay. <coughs> Oh my, what a lovely scent! It makes me so... <laughs> oh no, I almost fell asleep before thanking you. That would be rude. There we go! Now, uh, since we need a picture of Mana sleeping here, we have kind of a conundrum here. Because it will not sleep on its own. So what we need to find is a Cleffa doll. That's not a Cleffa doll. <laughs> well, if it's not around here, I'll, I'll come back and try and get it to sleep later when I can find one. But, uh, uh, this is probably one of the most obscure things in the game to do. Because, I, because to my knowledge, there's no hint as to how you're supposed to be able to do this. Like, it, it doesn't sleep on its own, as I said, and I don't think... I don't think there's a, a Cleffa doll around here right now. Uh, ooh, can I buy one from Meowth? Where? Where'd it go? <laughs> Did I knock it out? There we go. Did I knock it around too much? Thank you for coming back. I have plenty right now. Everything is a hundred berries. A great deal. Which one do you want? The plush, please. Thank you. All right. So here we go. Got a doll. Now, um, here, here's the thing. When you're next to a Cleffa doll, for some reason, you... A what? What, you got a present? You eventually, anyway, you eventually fall asleep next to it. I 
Don't know why that is, but it doesn't happen when you are like just standing solo here. But like if you sit next to a, a doll for I mean for a little while here, like say two three minutes or so, you will fall asleep. And if Mo if uh, Mona sees a Pokemon that's sleeping, in this case you, it too will fall asleep. So I put this over here in the middle of the path that it's going to be taking here. So, uh, I'm gonna cut forward until I'm sleeping and until Mana comes here because it's it's gonna take a while. I'm trying to do this as a timing thing, you know, trying to be sleeping by the time it comes here. Hey, hey, I'm trying to sleep here. Stop it! Stop it! Getting tired there, Snivy? Well, you better sleep fast. One of us coming. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? What the heck? Well, anyway, Snivy is sleeping now. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, now let's wait a bit. Okay, it's gonna eventually fall asleep. There we go. Now, press minus to take a picture. Uh, wait, I hit plus, my bad. There we go. That should, should work. If we turn around, uh, yeah. I hope, hopefully, that worked. <laughs> because it was partially off the screen, but I really hope that worked. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how it's done, believe it or not. I don't, did, did I just get a present from Delibird? <laughs> But yeah, I don't really understand how the game designers thought you would be able to figure that out. I mean, maybe there's a hint to that somewhere in the game that I don't know of, but I had to look it up the first time I played through this because I was completely baffled how to get Mana to sleep there. It's so incredibly obscure that it works like that, but that that's how it's... Duh, forget it. <laughs> I guess maybe they're just expecting you to really, like, quite literally try everything and anything to um, try and get it to sleep. Like, I don't, I don't understand how they would... I, again, unless there's a hint or something in the game somewhere, but... Uh, <laughs> anyway, that picture that we got of uh, Mana sleeping there, if it works is um like a, it's gonna be a double duty thing like we know um a pokemon at the sci uh, scientorium wants a picture of actually maybe i should do that now just to check if that picture is um is successful so yeah let's go 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 to the scientorium just to be sure that it works so we don't have to flop around too much overall <laughs> Come on, load. There we go. All right. Uh, hey, you. Did you take a picture of Bunna sleeping? Yes, got it. It works. It works. Oh, well done. Hmm, I see. Thanks. This will help my research. All right. Duoceon is friended. All right. Now let's go over to the Verdon Courts. Oh, wait. Without. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> yes, please. I know there are more Pokemon in the Craig area to get, but I'll do that when I uh, go back to do the Coliseum a little bit later on. It's an organization thing. I just thought I would get Mana there because it's it was in my path, so kind of, yeah. <laughs> I just figured, yeah, I'll get it while I'm there. And look at that, the bridge is fixed! The bridge is fixed! I'm gonna go to the arcane area. I just fixed up the bridge! Isn't it great when things like this are used for a long time? I gotta polish my skills and make a lot of stuff. See you! Alright, there we go. Now we are able to get this vast white quill that's been taunting us for the longest time. <laughs> Alright, um, maybe I should switch. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Today is hit the wrong button day. What's what's going on here? <laughs> did my button stick there? Because I did a greet, not a um switch. 
I was doing this be quiet, but now the bridge has been fixed. Well, that's fine. You want a battle? Yes, I would. Bring it on. And the sound of this music, it's a mini boss. What you got? That's not much. Here, have a flamethrower. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to. You know what? I, I think I could do this. Oh, pain! Not that much pain, though. It's still pain. Tepic is really resilient. You know, I should probably use Tepic more for battles because of that. There's power. By any chance, are you the Electro Gatherers? I didn't expect to meet you here, but please bail me again. There we go. Scolipede is friended. And now, aside from Superior, all the Pokemon in the Arbor area should be a friend. Wait, wait, see, there's Superior. So we are close to 100%ing this bad boy. Uh, will there be a ball in this box like the... Yeah, awesome. I was actually hoping for that because... There's a net over there. Yee! Oh, this is so difficult to do. <laughs> no, come back, ball! Don't roll upstairs. I don't even know how you managed to roll upstairs. I'm gonna do this. Instead of knocking it in, I'm gonna chuck it in. Yee! Yee! Oh, that somehow worked! Yeah! And that increased that count of Kecleons. <laughs> For goals. Arcane area ahead. The source of the water flowing through Poke Park. Alright, the arcane area. Really beautiful area. But by oh, oh hello there. But by far. You know it's my existence or something. Looking at your face closely, you have a very interesting face. You remind me of a Pokemon I used to know. He had a lightning tail and a smiling face. He was always pleasant. I think this is the same Burmy from Poke Park 1. Okay, be my friend. Oh, I guess I forgot one. <laughs> I came from far away. That place is also called Poke Park. It's very different from here. But this Poke Park is also very comfortable. Uh, where, uh, where are you on the friend list then, actually? Are you... Huh. That space didn't seem to be there. Well, maybe it was, and I just forgot. Maybe I just jumped the, jumped the gun here. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Superior is left now. Alright, so anyway, let's collect the berries that are on the tree, because I kind of knocked the tree around, talked to Burmy, and didn't really do anything regarding the berries. <laughs> Anyway, arcane area, right up these beautiful stairs. It's like half bran half tree branch split down the middle lengthwise stairs. Hey, new loading screen. It's a new loading screen. Well, not technically new, it's just the first time we've seen it. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the arcane area lakeshore. You come from far away. You're full of energy, aren't you? I'm so sleepy. But recently I've forgotten how to sleep. If someone could show me how they fall asleep, I think I could remember. Oh, I thought you had to show a picture of Mona to... Um, so I guess that picture that I got wasn't double duty. So anyway, you know how to uh, make a Pokemon fall asleep, so all I need to do is find a doll around here and uh, we'll be able to show Marie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's okay. So it is. It is something to do with a doll around here. Maybe Meowth is uh, hanging around somewhere and I could buy uh, another Cleffa doll. Anyway, let's start exploring this incredibly beautiful area. You came from far away, right? In that case, do you have any megaphones? My voice is very, very quiet. I want a megaphone! Yes. Thank you. I know I have a megaphone from somewhere. Yeah! There we go. Very simple. I'd like to thank you again. Can you hear me now? Good. Good. Can you hear me now? Good. Can you hear me now? Good. I'll forget it. <laughs> I'm so happy I think I'll call you my friend. And brings out Swadloon. Uh, that, uh, that was really easy to get, but the Pokemon that are around here are much... I mean, a, a lot of the Pokemon around here are much, much harder overall. 
Um, like we got some little tads here. Who are you? Want to play chase? Um, will you do it on land, not in the water? Because I know some of the Pokemon here who want to chase like to do it in the water, and I can't really do that with Tepig. I'll give it a shot. I could always quit the chase if it uh, doesn't work out. <laughs> Don't go in the water. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother with that. Alright. Let's switch over to. Oshawott. Let's try it again. <laughs> yep. How did you guys split apart, by the way? It doesn't really matter if they're together or not, because you only have to hit one of them, and yeah. E. <laughs> it's indestructible to you if it stays in the water, you know, when you're Tepig or Pikachu or Snivy. It because you can't go in the water. Oh boy, that was fun. Yeah. Alright. I know, you should make friends with Squirtle. He's a bit shy though. He'll probably pop right into his shell, but I can tell you that he likes cute things. If you have a plush or something, maybe it'll be easier to talk to. Oh yeah, never seen him pop into a shell while he's swimming. What do you think if he went into a shell while he's on, in the water? I don't know, water Pokemon are pretty buoyant. I've seen they floated in Pokemon Snap. And it actually was a squirrel that was it was floating in its shell. Uh, oh, honey jars. Remember we need them for Waylord? Well, this is probably the easiest place in the game to get them in. So, if you want to get um, honey jars, just wander around this place aimlessly. Collect all these uh, little treasure chests. And, uh, yeah, do that until you have 50. And leave the area, come back, you know, and to, to make the chests respawn, etc, etc. And you'll eventually reach 50. Oh, well, Lord, why must you be such a tedious conundrum? And look at the, f the flowers in the way. Anyway, I need to switch to Snivy here because we got a really difficult obstacle course. Not an obstacle course, a, a race here. You came, So you came from another area. The Arcane's area is nice, isn't it? Doesn't being in a wide open space like this make you want to run? Oh, well, yes. Then you should run on the race course I thought of. Check this one out. Start here. The crate is back there. Break it and come back here. In this course, speed is the most important thing, and so I got got out Snivy before I talked to Jolteon. This one just gave me so much trouble my first playthrough because I didn't have Snivy upgraded to the max, but when I did, it still gave me sort of sort of issues because it's really, really difficult. I, I think, um, yeah, I think I'm. Oh shoot! I took the wrong turn, didn't I? Hold on. Yeah, I was, I was supposed to turn left. Oops. Let's try that again. You don't have any time to spare. <laughs> Your running was slower than I expected. That's because I did a loop and I went around the wrong way. <laughs> My apologies, I forgot. <laughs> You're supposed to go around counterclockwise and I thought you were supposed to go around clockwise. Um, yeah, there's like a perimeter that you can run around in circles and there's a lot of Pokemon that like to play chase around it. Uh, there's a certain bully bull that likes to do it, and it's very, very difficult to get. You'll see later. Anyway, let's just go, 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 go. And look how much time I'm going to have left to turn around. Because you see, I it was at 40 when I started, and I hit it at 24. So I'm only going to have like 8 seconds of spare, if that. <laughs> And you gotta try and stay on the inside of the track, you know, because you'll kind of, yep, eight seconds to spare. Because if you go around in a wider circle, you use more time. And yeah, if you hit stuff, you'll also lose time. It's it's something to practice. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of the route, but still. <laughs> anyway, Jolteon's friended, and we got a deer over here. Sawsbuck, you're not from this area. Do you like to run? Why don't we play Chase? Alright. Like no fast fast you are. Thanks for accepting my challenge. Let's get started. Alright. I do believe that is the spring version of Saw's Buck. They and Deerling change their forms depending on the um Oh no you don't. <laughs> depending on the season in Pokemon Black and White. I should say depending on the season of whatever game they appear in. Excuse me. You are quite the runner. It was a pleasure to run with you. There we go. Now, friending that will make that bully ball come to the area. Oh, yes. 
Oh boy. <laughs> this one's a pain to get. At least from what I remember. Is there gonna be a doll in here? Mm. Still no doll at all, but we will uh, need a ball for something else. There. Anyway, ooh, mudkip. Do you like mudkips? Well, yes, I would love to. Oh boy. Look at that dash. That dash is going to be your demise. Just look how fast it goes. <laughs> try and stay on the inside of the track so that you can try and catch up to it. And there we go. I think the reason why I had issues with Jolteons and uh, uh, Buffont here is because... Uh, Bo I mean Buffalon, excuse me, is because... Uh, I didn't have Snivy upgraded at the time, you know, the dash. As I said, dash upgrading makes everything easier. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, no thanks. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe someone will later. Oh, a certain swan. Oh man, there's so many Pokemon to friend here. I'm not going to be able to do it in one part, so maybe I'll do... Oh no! Why did you run? I, did I scare you? <laughs> I'd like to call it down, but I have to stay in the place to call and it'll probably fly away by the time I do. And eh. You know what? You know what? You there. Wait, sort of, kind of. Okay. I'll do you instead. There are three questions. If you get all of them right, then you win. First question. What color is Marie's face? That would be blue. Yeah! Second question, what color are Lil Tad's legs? That would be blue. <laughs> are all the answers blue? This is the third question. There are pink flowers, blue flowers, and yellow flowers. Which flower do I like? Probably all of them. I have no idea, but... <laughs> How did you know? You're amazing. I just assume because you said blue. <laughs> and Badoo has come around. Uh, Vast White Quill up and over there. I guess I'll go and grab that as long as I see it. There's a couple of Vast White Quills in a chest hanging around here. And there we go. Maybe I'll go grab that chest actually that's up here. I'm not gonna go... Um, well, I guess I could go and show you all the way up to the top here. Thousand Berries. All the way up here is a shrine of sorts. But we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's a bunch of other stuff that we have to do around here. So I'm not... I'm not it's, this part's going to be really long if I do that because... Just look at the arcane area here. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's there's not that many Pokemon, but the Pokemon that do pop around here are kind of difficult to get, as I said. But then again, I, I keep saying they're difficult to get, yet I'm winning excessively. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also another certain Lakitu like legendary wandering around here that we'd like to meet up with and yeah there's a lot of stuff to do I'm just gonna just gonna end it off here <laughs> hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part don't forget to save why is the game lagging this is weird all right I'm gonna try this outdoor thing again see what the hubbub is about again it's kind of warm but I'll, I'll give it a try I'll give it a try so uh, they finally did most of the road construction here so there's no more ridiculous amounts of noise going on here and uh, they, they still have to do landscaping and stuff like that but yeah well that will come in time the heck some flew my face why are things attacking my face <laughs> mosquitoes no <laughs> run <laughs>